Three simple things to do for God to transfer the world in the hands of the sinners to you as God's child. In Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 22, the Bible says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is kept in store for the righteous. Hear that again. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is kept in store for the righteous. In Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 26, for God gives to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinner, he gives travail to gather and to heap up wealth that God may collect from him and give to him that is good before God. God wants you to have his wealth. I wish above all things that you may prosper and be hurt, even as you say prosper. God wants you to be super wealthy if you are born of, born of God and a child of God. What are the three simple things you must do for God to trust you with his wealth and riches and for God to employ you with wealth and riches? Number one, you must love the Lord our God, our Father, with all of your heart and with all of your soul, and with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Love God. Love God. Listen, it's either you love God or you love money. If you love God, you are going to use money to show God love. You are going to use money to advance whatever God is interested in. You are going to put in any money God gives you into whatever God is doing. You can't love and not spend on the one you love. God so loved us, he gave all. All. He gave us his son, his life, himself, and he gave us all else, everything else. John 3.16, Romans 8.32. He has given us all. So when you love God, you are going to spend on him. You are going to spend on what God loves. You are going to spend on what makes God happy and joyful. If you love God, you are going to spend. So love him with all of your heart. Mark chapter number 12, 30 and 31. And you shall love the Lord your God. He said, first, what must I do? What is the first commandment of all? Jesus said, the first commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Verse 30 of Mark chapter number 12. And you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind and with all of your strength. This is the first commandment. Love the Lord. If you want to see God give you money or hand over his word to you, love the Lord. Number two, seek his kingdom first. Seek for the well-being of the kingdom first, inv do all you can to advance the cause of the kingdom. Luke chapter 12, from verse 31, Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Invest your prayers into the kingdom business. Invest your life in the kingdom business. Invest your energy, your strength, your skill, your service into the kingdom business. Put in your all. Peter gave Jesus Christ his sheep and Christ used it to preach his gospel. Christ rewarded him bountifully. Invest massively all you are into the kingdom business. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all this shall be added. God will give you wealth. Three, and finally, give for the work of God to advance. Put in all you have, all you can get. Matthew chapter 13, 40, 40, 46. The kingdom of heaven is like man who was looking for treasure in a field. He found one for joy. He hid it, went and sold all he had, and came and purchased that field. That's the kingdom. He said again, God's kingdom is like a merchant, a multi-believer, if it's today, 
who is looking for a pair of great price. When he found one, he went and sold all he had and came and bought that. Invest your all to advance God's kingdom. Invest massively. Give all. Paul said, I'm not only willing to spend my life, but to spend all I have so that this kingdom business can advance. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 verse 15. You cannot do these three simple things and not see God be rewarded. Love God with all of your heart and with all of your soul, with all of your mind and with all of your strength. Two, seek ye first his kingdom. Do all you can to advance the kingdom. And thirdly, give. You cannot love and not give. The proof of love is in giving. God loved, he gave. Christ loved, he gave. All. We love, we give. Give all you can, all you have to advance the God's kingdom. Luke chapter 12, verse 31. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. All this shall be added unto you. Verse 32. Let all flock. Do not be afraid. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and the power, the glory, the word, the riches. What must you do? He says, go and say what you have. Don't be afraid. Go and say what you have. Verse 33. And then give to advance God's kingdom. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where no moth, no thief, no rust can spoil your harvest. Where where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. If you put your treasure in brick and stone and cement and blocks, <laughs> that's where your heart is. But if you put your heart in God's kingdom business, in his heavenly kingdom business, that's where your heart is. I tell you, from there, God will supply all of your needs. I pray for you today that you will do this three simple things and say, God, put what into your hands. Be blessed. See you again in our next video. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.